just woke up at the refugio and I'm able to experience one of the most incredible sunsets of my life. Sunrise, sunrise, I always get that wrong. Look at that, you can see the ocean from here and these multiple cascades of mountains and the sun didn't even get out fully, it's just lighting up the, mount the clouds right now. Wow, it's incredible and then here this crazy, crazy high mountain going up. Today hiking down again into the valley. First the same track that I went up yesterday and after that I will go different route to a really beautiful canyon if I reach there today <laughs> which is called Cares and there's a track that you can do through that canyon which should be incredible it's called Ruta del Cares and that's probably what I'm gonna do tomorrow because it's probably gonna take the whole day to get there and then yeah we will see what this day brings I really have the feeling that all of these trees, the leaves are way more red than yesterday. It seems like overnight they became from yellow to red. Really, really beautiful here. I was just making a break, eating some cookies and this fella here tried to eat my cookies and he came really close and yeah, tried to eat a cookie in my hand. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Two donkeys. <laughs> They're so funny animals. Nope.
this beautiful field that I'm walking down right now is full of these collapsed farmhouses. They're all so beautiful and seem to be ancient. I wonder how old some of these houses are. This place is so incredibly peaceful. Almost no other hikers around. Basically no noise except the bells of the cows everywhere. It's wonderful, this Pico de la Europa. Now I arrived in Bulnes, which is two little villages in the mountains here. One down here and one up there. Bulnes de Arriba. And there's no road going to that villages. And they look really nice. Maybe I will stay here, we will see. So there's no store in the whole village because it's very tiny, but it's a restaurant. So I'm gonna save my food, the little food I have, for tomorrow for the trek. And today I decided to get a menu de dia at one of the restaurants here. And it starts with getting some bread and some really nice special cheese. And I managed to secure a bottle of wine that some people left here on the table before they left. <laughs> so I get a wine, really nice, and this cheese is like a really strong, like a green, greenish cheese, and it's really strong and really delicious. Mm. The entrada is crema de la verdura, so I'm really excited that it looks really good. I think with, with pumpkin, it's really delicious. And welcome to the second round. This time it's trout with french fries and a sauce which I'm really really excited to try because it looks really good. And now there's even a dessert, some milk rice, really delicious. Wow, so the whole menu de Lia was 12 euros, which is incredible I think for what you get because Considering that this is a small tiny village in the mountains where no street is going to so you expect the prices to be more high but that was totally fair I think and then I tipped her 15 and then I told her if I can buy some bread because I need some bread for tomorrow but yeah then he, she just gave it 
gave me a whole baguette for free, which was really kind. And yeah, I'm really glad to be here and it was amazing, really delicious. So now I found this cozy and cute little hostel here. It's basically in one of these old traditional houses and it's just one room and there's the door to the outside and you have to ask in one of the restaurants for the key and there's a bathroom, shower and toilet and like 10 beds I think, I'm the only person here and a little heater here <laughs> and yeah I'm really excited to sleep in this little village and to have this amazing Menuda Dia, this just amazing day today.